Good morning. Um, okay, so today for week 14, which is the 16th through the um, 20th, you're going to do, um, you're simply basically finishing your um, bridge. So you're going to start doing your bridge. So the first thing, let me just dance to this. Okay, so right here, you're gonna actually design your structure. So it's no discussion question. All you're doing is you're going to click here to log in to white box. Once you log in through Clever on white box, then you're going to go to the engineering section. So click here and notice that it says it here, guys, you have to review this video in order to know how to design your bridge. If you don't review the video, then you're going to be so lost this week, okay? And this is a major grade. So please review the video. So for you all, you'll click login with Clever here, but because I um, have a student account that I created, I'm gonna log in here. All right, so you're gonna go to, you should have already done all of your worksheets, your five worksheets, because that's a grade as well. So the next tab, you're going to go to engineering. So if you go here, you can go straight to engineering from the home screen. You click engineering. And whenever it loads, let's try to refresh it. All right, there we go. So you have a wrench and eyeballs. So the eyes, when you click the eyes, that's actually, you can see the component. It'll pop up, okay? When you click the wrench, that's when you can make changes to that component. So for example, if I wanna change my bridge length to 400, every time you make a change, you click apply. So you can see the change being made, okay? It shows you immediately the change as soon as you click apply. If I go here and I want to change, I'll go to the envelope. If I want to change the width and the height, or if I want to change the truss type. So the truss type is the way this is shaped, okay? The actual truss. So if you notice right here in the center, let me take this one off. So you can actually see the shape of it. There we go. So if I change this to, um, let's just change to practice. So you can see the big difference. And I click apply. See how the direction of the truss beams changed? You can also change the number of bays, which is the, each little section. So one section, two section, from here to here is section three, from here to here is section four, from here to here is five. So you have five bays. If you wanna change it right here, you can change it to six. I'm just playing around with some numbers so you can see the difference. So notice now you have one section. From here to here is two sections. Here to here is three. Here to here is four, five, and then six. So every time you make a change, you have to click apply so the change can take. So when you go here, always make sure you save. So we're gonna go file, save. We'll um, title it virtual example, a virtual X. So we're gonna save a working copy just because I want you to save often because if white box has a glitch or whatever the problem may be, if you'll lose your work if you have to refresh. So notice that the roof is green. So the floor, these are called stringers, they're red and the roof, it's green. So if you go here to the roof, standard or just straight sticks. If you change it to X brace, it gives you X's, okay? So once again, we're gonna file, save, but this time we're gonna save and enter the competition. So after you make all the changes you wanna make, then you can test it in the competition. And I reviewed the um, way you get your grade as well. So once you enter the competition, it'll come up and it'll say, save your design. So now you go to the competition tab at the top. When you go to the competition tab, your design will always be in the stage section, okay? So here's Virtual X. 
please make sure you save it something that is school appropriate, okay? Because notice that although I named my bridge, it comes up with my government name right next to it. So just remember, be smart about it when you name your bridge because you cannot delete it. So we'll go against this person. And the trucks actually go through the rally to ride over the bridge. Now my bridge is not the best bridge. I just made something so it might collapse quick. Oh, that was surprising. So basically as the truck changes color, if you notice up here to the top right, as it changes colors, it's getting heavier. And I'll explain that with your grade and how you receive your grade on what size truck you have. So mine fell on 200 Newtons. And my contender is still going. So it's going to go through until both trucks fall. Okay, so it continues to go higher, higher. Okay, so notice right here, it says out of spec for mine and in spec for my contender. Out of spec means that you will get a zero basically. You don't get a grade if it's out of spec. So I'm gonna show you how to get it in spec. If you go to outputs, which is the next tab over and you go to design specifications, Everything that's here in red has to be turned to black. If you look at the length, the length requirements anywhere from 250 millimeters to 300 millimeters. I have it designed at 400 millimeters. So I need to go back and change my length to something between 250 and 300. So I'll go back to engineering and up here at the top where I chose 400, we're just going to say, let's say 275. So it'll shorten the bridge. If we go back to outputs, notice that my length is no longer red. So as you make the changes, you're putting it in spec. And in putting it in spec, you have to make sure that everything that's red turns to black. The capacity and the budget are very important because those two will be the toughest ones to change. But let me explain. Capacity, it deals with the weight and the materials that you use. The budget is how much money you have to spend. So you have $18.50 to spend. So notice right now I'm at $25.45. If I go here and I change, if I take away material, so I'm just going to make my X brace a standard again. Click apply. I'm going to change this to four. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that at six bays, but I'm going to change my flooring, my amount of stringers. So so remember I told you these are called stringers. You're going to get three stringers. So when you go back to outputs, now my cost, my budget is still red. But notice that as I get rid of sticks or get rid of material, my budget is going closer and closer, further and further down to $18.50. So you want to make sure your budget is no more than $18.50. And the way you do that is by getting rid of material. Now the capacity has to go up to 300 at least. So it's a minimum, not a maximum capacity, but it has to be at least 300. The way you change the capacity is the weight of the material. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to balsa wood because balsa wood is what we'll be using. Notice also base wood does way more but see how both of these numbers change? It went to 231 and 1985, so it's getting closer. Base wood weighs more, but it also costs more. So base wood can be good to help you get your capacity up, but if you have too much base wood, it will bring your cost up as well. So you want your cost down, but your weight up, okay? So you'll play around with those numbers. So for example, let me go ahead and do the width. The width has to be between 50 and 75, but I have 80. So let's go change our width 
to 60 and apply. So notice as you make changes, that particular section turns black once you fix it. So just in me making the width a little smaller, it put me inside of my budget. But I still have to get my capacity up. So in getting my capacity up, I need to go and change some more material, okay? So as you play around in the um, with the word, the um, options, so you have different options. You have balsa wood 2.4, which is cheaper, but it's not as heavy. So you're, it'll help your budget go down, but because it's not as heavy, it's going to bring your capacity down as well, okay? So just be careful. You can also change this. So your 2D truss, you can change those as well. You can change these to all balsa wood. You can change some to balsa, some to base wood. So it's your choice. You can do it however you want it. You can also reshape your bridge. So for example, if you go here and when you click done, it goes away, all of these little boxes, okay? So if you want to reshape your bridge, you'll look at the 2D truss and from here, and I'll take this away so it's not looking so confusing, you can move these around however you see fit. You can shape your bridge however you want to shape your bridge, okay? It's your bridge. You can shape it however you like, okay? So we'll go to File, Save, and then we'll um, enter the competition. And of course, it's still going to say out of spec because I still have to fix the capacity, okay? But remember, when you go to competition, it's going to be in the stage designs. So we'll reset this and I'll do virtual X against boom. So you can run, uh, run against your peers. Um, you can run, run against yourself. If you see Davis Knight, that means of course it's a student here, but students all over that are doing these right now, all over the nation. So this is my bridge, Contender 1 is the farthest away. So if you choose yourself to be Contender 1, your bridge is going to be the bridge that is up, um, like upstage. So it's a little bit better this time. So it just takes a little time. You have to go through and just um, trial and error. But the most important thing is so you can get your grade is for you to have it in spec. And by, remember, by getting it in spec, you go to the output tabs, look at your design specifications. And then from there, you have to make sure that everything that is, oh, they both fill at the same time. So make sure everything that's black, oh, excuse me, everything that's red turns to black. So they're both out of spec. So neither one of us will get a grade for that. So basically all you're doing is your goal is to make sure that everything is black. Now back to your grading rubric. The way you get your grade is by the truck weight and the color. And this is how it's determined. So if you make it, if the, um, if you're the truck, the, the yellow truck successfully rolls over and you get to the orange one and it breaks, then you get a 70. Whichever truck successfully goes all the way over and you make it to the next color before it breaks, that's the grade you'll get. If your orange truck gets over, you get a 75. If the green truck gets makes it completely over, you get an 80, so on and so forth. 495 and then 600 or 500 Newton, you'll get a 100. So, but listen, it's very, very important that you watch this video. Otherwise, you're going to be so confused this week as to how to design your bridge. Send me messages if you have any messages. Um, please make sure you're doing your, your um, vocabulary, your bridge vocabulary test and your 16th of an inch test. The bridge vocabulary test is a major grade, and I'll be closing that folder soon. Send me messages. Send me emails if you have questions. Otherwise, have a great day and happy designing.